Hello my dear students, are you enjoying the online classes? Yes? We have completed our first three chapters and now we are in our fourth chapter that is Indigenous. Before knowing Indigenous, you have to know what are negative numbers. Have you heard of negative numbers? Natural numbers with negative sign is called as negative numbers. So integers are the collection of positive numbers, zero, along with negative numbers. So children, this is the mind map for our chapter. I already told the chapter name is integers. So integers are collection of natural numbers and whole numbers and indices will also have negative natural numbers and under indices we learn how to represent indices in a number line and the operations of indices then about comparison of indices and about absolute value and under operations we learn addition of integers and also subtraction of integers so children here you see an image of a bank in bank two important words used are profit and loss so profit of rupees 500 is denoted as plus 500 and the loss of rupees 500 is denoted as minus 500. Now you can see an image of a place above sea level. How to represent that? As plus certain kilometer that means for example plus 1500 kilometer and now you see an image of a place below sea level and how to represent it in numbers as minus 1500 kilometer now you can see an image of a place having cold climate and how to represent it in temperature you can represent as minus 5 degrees celsius and now you can see an image of place with hot climate and how to represent it in temperature as plus 5 degree celsius so all these examples represent the opposite situations in our day-to-day -day life now i have two examples here loss of rupees 25 how to represent it it is loss that means decrease so you can represent as minus 25 and another example 1850 meter above sea level that means it is more in Greece so you have to add a positive sign in front of the number so as I already told you Positive numbers 0 and negative numbers form a collection of numbers called as integers. And we can represent integers as Z or I. And how to draw a number line? Draw a straight line and mark points with equal distance I have 0 in the middle and positive numbers towards the right side of the board and negative numbers towards the left side of the board and to represent some numbers for example to represent minus 2 on a number line so see where minus 2 is there it is here right 
so mark this as minus 2 for, for representing minus 4 look where minus 4 is there and mark that point got it now let us see how to compare integers as I already told this is the number line of integers all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers and 0 is also greater than negative numbers so you observe the numbers towards the right are greater than numbers towards the left and in case of negative numbers the number which is having smaller numerical value is greater than the one which is having greater numerical value this is in the case of negative numbers here minus 3 and minus 1 which is greater is it minus 3 no minus 1 is greater see in the number line minus 1 lies to the right of minus 3 so minus 3 is less than minus 1 now let us see absolute value of an integer absolute value of an integer is its numerical value regardless of its sign if a is an integer then we can represent absolute value of a like this okay now for example what is the absolute value of minus 20 so absolute value of minus 20 is 20 now what is the absolute value of 100 is it minus 100 no we need not change the sign from plus to minus or minus to plus if it is inside the bar only take the numerical value so absolute value of 100 is 100 itself absolute value of minus 20 is 20 so now we learn operation on integers which all operations addition and subtraction this is an image of buckingham palace you can see the stairs for climbing up and also down to the hall consider the number of stairs for climbing up as positive integers and number of stairs moving down as negative integers if you carefully notice the picture there is a small area or space between the stairs that are going down and the stairs that leads upwards consider that space as zero hope you have understood the picture Indigers a collection of positive numbers, negative numbers along with zero. Now if a person is standing at the position zero, as I already mentioned, if a person stands at that position and if he moves two steps up, then we reach plus two and next move one more step up then we reach plus two plus one that is plus three and from there if you move five steps down so step down consider as negative so we already we are in third step okay now plus three five steps down that means 
plus minus 5. So we have 3 minus 5 that is minus 2 and then from there if we move one more step down that means minus 2 plus minus 1 we get minus 3 now let us learn adding integers with same sign so to add integers with same sign what you have to do is add their absolute value and place the common sign before the sum for example plus 10 plus plus 12 now when you add you get 22 and the common sign of the numbers are positive so plus 10 plus 12 you get plus 22 now in case of negative sign if it is minus 10 plus minus 5 add the numbers so absolute value of 10, minus 10 is 10 absolute value of minus 5 is 5 so 10 plus 5 is 15 and what is the common sign it is negative so place negative sign before the sum now let us see adding integers with different signs when I explain the example of Buckingham Palace I had shown examples with different signs I will explain you in detail now okay here there are two numbers and we have to add it what is the speciality one number is positive and another number is negative so in this case when both the signs are different we have to find the difference of those numbers that means 12 minus 5 it is 7 so we found the difference and put the greater number sign in front of it here 12 is greater than 5 take the absolute values so 12 is greater than 5 and place positive sign in front of 7 because 12 is greater now another example minus 20 plus plus 8 both the signs are different find the difference since both the signs are different we have to find the difference and 20 and 8 gives the difference as 12 20 or 8 is greater it is 20 so 20 is having negative sign in front of it so place minus in front of 12 this is how to add integers with different signs now let's see what is additive inverse an integer and its opposite are called as additive integers of each other so what is additive inverse of 10 yes it is minus 10 so what is 10 plus minus 10 equal to 10 plus minus 10 is it is 0 we have to add a positive 10 and a negative 10 you get the value as 0 now let us see subtraction of integers let a and b be two integers so subtract b from a if that is a question subtract b from a then first you find the additive inverse of b and then add to a 
I'll show an example. Subtract 2 from minus 5. So, we have to write it as minus 5 minus 2. This is how we write it. 2 from minus 5 we write as minus 5 minus 2. So we have to find the additive inverse of 2. What is additive inverse of 2? It is minus 2. So minus 5 minus 2 can be written as minus 5 plus minus 2. This is the additive inverse of 2. Now there are common sign here. It is minus. So we have to add and put the common sign in front of it. When you add we get 5 plus 2 is 7 and the common sign is minus. So minus 5 plus minus 2 is equal to minus 7. So children I have one more example for you. This subtract minus 5 from minus 3. So we can write it as minus 3 minus inside bracket minus 5. So here we have to find the additive inverse of minus 5. What is additive inverse of minus 5? It is plus 5. So we can write minus 3 minus minus 5 as minus 3 plus 5. So when both the signs are different we have to find the difference and put greater number sign. Yes. So what is the difference of 5 and 3? It is 2. Is 3 less than 5? Yes. So 5 is greater and 5 is having positive sign. So the answer is plus 2. This is our last topic. Successor and predecessor of a number. So what is successor of a number? The number after it. So to find successor add plus 1 to it. So if you add plus 1 to minus 5 we get minus 4. We have to find the difference and put greater number sign. And in case of predecessor of minus 5 or any number add minus 1 to it. So what is minus 5 minus 1? We have to add and put the common sign. The common sign here is minus. So children in the chapter integers we learned how to represent integers on a number line. We learned about operations such as addition and subtraction. We learned how to compare two integers and absolute value of integers. Hope you have understood all the portions. Thank you.